What's up guys? It is Brent back here. And we are jumping into some more Slay the Spire modded Library of Runa. So, last time we played as the Defect. I forgot to pull my notes, but that is fine. I slightly remember what happened because I have a little bit of a brain. Um, we didn't do very good. We lost twice on the first floor, I think is pretty sure what happened. Um, we tried doing like orb builds that just and now they were too slow not aggressive enough for the mod in a way uh at least in my opinion but speaking of that before we get really going into the watcher i do want to talk about mods i've had two three a couple comments recommending um looking at the other library of runa mods and some people saying that i should maybe look at into playing it um which is definitely a possibility i checked it out and we're actually going to go check it out together in just a second all right, so we've moved to the Steam uh, page for Library of Runa. Looks great. I still very much enjoy the art style of the game. Overwhelmingly positive. Um, so this could be a possibility. My only concern and what you guys might be able to uh, correct and like answer for me is an in interface full audio is in English. Subti oh, subtitles are in English. Okay, because this is all in Japanese. I think, based on what I'm seeing, I think I could get it for English. Um, looks like a turn-based kind of RPG-esque, or not RPG, turn-based like strategy game based on like a picture like this. So this could be a possibility. I'd like to know what you guys think. Um, it looks like it's early access right now. Um, I'd want to learn a little bit more about it to see if it's like my kind of jam, but it's definitely a possibility. But we're also going to go look at the Slay the Spire mods too. So one sec. All right, so we are now looking up Runa. Um, this is the library of Runa mod we are currently playing. Um, click it into here. Uh, and this is what we've been doing for a while. It's got a bunch of different acts. Um, Act four, I don't even think we've seen yet. We've only done three. A um, bunch of new elites, bosses, all that kind of thing. And then if we go back, there's these two, both by Call of Fleet. Uh, I'm not sure. The difference, I think they add different characters. It looks like they change up the skill tree. I think this is what we're going to be doing um, after we go through the um, the Watcher today. So this could be something fun we're going to try. Um, only requires base mod. And I hope everything is still compatible. It might take me playing around just a little bit. I think, I, yeah, it was confirmed that it was in English. So we're good there. I actually, my question to you guys is... Do I need both of them? Are they like inherently different? Um, what's the difference between this one? Because looking, there's not a lot of the mod based on Library of Runa. Um, so I don't know what the differences is differences are on this one. Um, so I'd love to know your feedback on that. Um, secondly, I did look at my poll on um, Twitter to see what other games we want to add. Um, Library of Runa is a possibility, and it looks like RimWorld Ideology uh, was winning out as an option. While we wait here, we're going to bring the game back up. Um, so, I'd like to know what you guys think. Um, kind of doing it at the first here. Again, um, thank you guys for watching, because it's been great. Um, support's been good, and I want to hopefully keep that going. If this is what you guys are enjoying, I'm happy to play it. But, to get on to the actual game, going in the watcher it's been a while since i played the watcher and i don't 100 percent know what the different um different modded cards for them are i think there's a defensive build which sounds really interesting um but we're gonna have to get in here first to see 250 gold is not the worst there's those ego cards you could buy in the shop early shop right here then sneak over to the left side Grab two elites and a, and a fire right here, right before the boss. Or we could stay on this side, go one elite, a couple elites and a couple question marks, or some rests. I think this one's a little nicer. Question marks and elites, one early fight here. I think that's gonna be the path. I think I will take the 21 damage here. Hopefully it does not bite us. I think the downside for me and the watcher is I want to play Eruption and I want to, um, Get off as much damage as possible. And sometimes that bites me. Uh, we are going to go in full... Full hammer jamma here. Um, four attacks with the miracle. 
but it should be easy yeah clean up on the back of all of that so hope you guys are doing good today i worked all day and now i'm trying to decide what we are playing um i think i'm gonna go with evaluate and continue but i hope you guys did something interesting work is fine you know having a job is nice question mark i mean definitely nice uh two damage here is going to be fine i'm gonna keep the miracle um i have a lot of meetings coming up which always sound incredibly fun um but it's definitely not uh, it's more that i got and you guys can tell me if you've ever had you have this problem in a job related setting or just a life setting um where you get volunteered for things without people asking you so i've been volunteered for how many uh we're gonna eruption first here um six meetings in the next three weeks back to back to back which i guess is part of oh we just have little, no we don't we need to wait till next turn um six meetings over the course of like three weeks they're like back to back days like a wednesday and a thursday next week wednesday and thursday and it'd be one thing if you know okay part of what i do i i have to you know i do engineering stuff and they want me to talk about it that's fine come ask me we'll figure it out um whatever you know part of the job i get that um but i don't like the fact that i've been volunteered for them they just kind of sent me an invite over email and said hey you're doing this i don't like more that the ones that i'm in i'm actually having to like be the ones presenting over like people who are higher up in management which is pretty frustrating i'll get to it in a second but uh, path to the unknown i think we've seen this one and i think we took uh, we might have took the event last time but let's read this again before you stand a series of twisting winding paths seemingly infinite ever expanding towards the unknown your attention shifts to three pathways which tower above the rest a steep central pathway, which towers above all. A curved pathway to the left with jagged edges. A curved pathway to the right with smooth, refined shape. Um, it's interesting because the steep one sounds like the one we might want to try. I feel like we did the event last time because we were about dead. I want to go with the elite and see what we have here. The same one we normally get, Latia. Um, I don't know how I want to currently proceed. I think we're doing the evaluate is going to be great. I don't... I receive her. Yeah, she takes more damage after we kill these friends. So let's go high damage here. We could just kill them, not take any... Take less damage. Actually, kind of. Kind of key to do that. We do get the spider here, but... Not a ton we can all do with that. Okay. Uh, draw potions kind of nice 12 uh, this is 20 23 damage coming in so i kind of would like to have gotten vigilance insights in the next in the next three cards would that be worth doing i think so i think i want to get into vigilance good block here i'm not like saddened to get it because then i could pull out a good eruption turn i think i'm gonna go all in on block this turn keep the insight Try to cycle back to eruption going up turn. And then we can use that to, yeah, really um, go crazy on a play. Except we didn't get a lot of attacks. Let's eruption first. I want to kill them. Insight here. There we go. Get that one done. You're exploding, right? Yeah, one turn explodes, dealing 10 damage. And then you're doing 8, which is lethal. We need to defend here. Uh, we'll go with the Vigilance. Not the most exciting play, but then we could pop up again. Eruption, damage. Uh, I think the gifts will end up killing us though. Like the way I'm looking at it right now. Uh, flying sleeves, damage, strike there. Go ahead and evaluate. Put that into the cycle. A 10, four. Yeah, we have one turn here to do 100 damage. Or block, I think, I guess we can also do that. Um, well. One, two, evaluate. Pull in on block. So 10 should go to block. Yeah, and then four to block. So we, we kind of need a minimum of 10 damage every turn to uh, keep it going. I'm going to go with the eruption here. She's doing eight. Cannot get out of this, actually. 
Flying sleeves, double defend. We might still be dead. Eruption might have been the wrong move. Definitely was. It is fine. Ooh, I like the little heart here. Um, we can go back in. Let's not click off the screen. Trying to remember mouse placement. Okay, standard. Watch her again. Accept the invitation. Let's get in here. Maybe we'll find an, a more interesting path. Obtain an ego card first off. I'm liking. Harvest. I don't think we've seen this one. Deal 40 damage. This card deals less damage as your HP percentage drops. Uh, I don't really like that. I mean, it's not bad. It's not necessarily good because I am very prone to taking damage. I like the center path. A couple elites, a lot of question marks. Not a lot of rest. Looks like two. If I go the right side, I can get a few more. But I like the more question marks. I feel like this mod has pretty good question mark paths. We're not attacking here, which eruption strike then is going to be awesome. Uh, but with the harvest card and double damage, we're actually going to be able to uh, apparently actually not do that. Um, because they put a lot of damage in. Uh, 16, we can block 6. It, I mean, we're going to block 3 of it. Um, that's the best. I guess I could have miracle another, another bit. Harvest, though, is 64 damage. Oh, 96 damage. My bad, I read that backwards. Uh, studies, I actually kind of like. Insights are pretty good. Just passive draw every turn. I think prostrate also could have been fine. Not like good or bad specifically. Uh, I'm just going to blow up one of these. And then we're going to study. And this card does... Oh no, that card does not exhaust the harvest. Which is nice to know. I wasn't actually too sure on that. Vigilance here is fine. We're going to... Also get rid of the... Uh, paralysis. I almost said Polarisis. Not correct. Polaris is a... Type of Fool Willer. Or... A gun in into the gungeon, which I thought about picking up again. I've been like very keen on um, different roguelikes I could pick up and play. Right again, um, just haven't really committed to one yet. Um, can I get another attack here? I can we get that? I'm gonna have to take more damage, get that harvest upgraded, which I didn't even look. It sort of made sense to see the upgrade. Uh, gain five block. No more damage, though. Which makes it... Eh. Okay. So we have a lot of draw here with the insights. I kind of like the lucky for the scrying. And it's a free card to do with insight. We're not buying into uh, Spireco today. I'm going with the elite again. I I'm ruthless. I can't help it. Uh, but opening with harvest here is very good. Um, and I'm going to lay into one of these... And knock him out immediately. Go with the defend here. And then we'll continue. Ow. Now if I can get back to harvest, we can be pretty good. Um, oh my gosh, that's so much damage coming in. Uh, mostly from you. We want to deal damage. Drop the defend back. Don't really want that. Vigilance here. Yeah, that's 10. I, could, I want them dead if I could have gotten it. We are going to play really into the high defense because Harvest kind of relies on that, so. Not as much as I like it, but kind of have to. 25 here, that will obliterate you. Strike will kill you, and then we're back down to equilibrium. Oh, okay, 12. With Eruption, we can actually pull this off pretty easily. This is 6. Um, actually, I would love the victim, but I cannot draw it. Five here does not matter too much and a good amount of damage on her one harvest and we've got this We did not get it though uh, We do not need another eruption here. Uh, we're actually gonna go with the vigilance to take Less damage here because ten plus four yeah. Trying to play around the gifts 22 here and 44 for her All right, we did it counterbalance during the boss and elite fight enemy strength strength gain block gain and healing is reduced by half so it just like nerfs them by half not too bad um i don't think i want any of those cut through freight is actually eh, do i want this right three is pretty nice I'm trying to manipulate our deck a little bit more sounds pretty fun 
And we are going to go up this kind of center-esque path here. Ooh, Child of the Galaxy. But a small figure, a boy draped in shining nebula and starry sky of the infinite galaxy. The boy approaches you, holding out a small bauble. Won't you be my friend? Uh, let's accept the gift this time. I don't think we did last time. Ooh, grinning jars, more uh, card draw. You accept the gift and the boy beams at you. As my gift to celebrate our friendship. Please treasure it. And of course, he gave us the Yu-Gi-Oh card of choice, Pot of Greed. Grinning jar here, but you, you guys know what it is. I don't have to spell it out. Um, this is interesting. Uh, I think study is going to be my choice here. I want to draw through the deck. I know that. I just have to figure out. Oh, not you again. Oh, I just don't know what to like to what end currently. And we're gonna blow up one of these immediately. Cut through fate is good. Stacks our next debt, but we don't. We draw one card actually. And if I can get a block card, now I got study, unfortunately, which I do want to play. So we're going to play it. Are going to take 11 here. The so rest is going to be very helpful coming up here. Because, yeah, harvest is just getting weaker and weaker as we do this. Um, I'm trying to think of what to do. 25 counter will kill you on the crack. Do I use eruption? We'll make this. Six damage, that's not really enough. That will kill this one, but I think we're just gonna go for this. Okay, next turn we'll have another card draw. And I think we just, yeah, double defend here and throw down a strike. Not the most exciting, but I think it's the most safe. Ow. Double insights, vigilance, grinning, dark cut through fate, okay. A lot of grinning jars. You're gonna die here. Um, get rid of the eruption. Just lucky. Drop that. So that's some block here. I would like to see more of those. Uh, I will vigilance. Can't play that because it's neck proof. Um, I have tin. So I'm actually gonna drink the counter potion. I'm not gonna inside again. We're just gonna leave it there. Yeah, they're dead. Yeah, she's attacking, but we should be able to harvest is only six damage right now. It is definitely a dead dead draw in my deck now. Uh green jar here. Eh. There's eruption. Okay. Do that. This is twelve. Harvest is only twelve. Okay. I've I've hit equilibrium here now. So she's going to give us gifts, but we should be able to block and draw enough to actually get past that. Especially if we're not in... We should have attacked first, actually. Um, as long as we're not in, like, super eruption mode, we should be fine. The insides, another just lucky. A harvest, I actually don't want. Our HP's too low. So, we just need 10 block. Probably, like, 14 block a turn is our goal. Um, eruption here is great. Insight through it. There's the vigilance. So we can play one strike and then jump out of this. There we go for 24. But she takes double damage now. Okay. Um, can I kill her this turn? I think I can. Yes. Not bad. Sports Q. At the start of each combat... At the start of each combat, with three or more enemies, apply two stunned and two invincible to one. Interesting. So they pretty much pull them out of the fight. Uh, battle him was great. I like the smites. Keep our, our hands full. Uh, are you a mimic? You are a mimic. I like that. This mimic's actually pretty hard too. Um, battle him early is great. Draw through. I want to get early like powers out of, out of the deck. Yeah, because they're going to start filling it with cubes. All right. Oh, 18. That's a rough one. Oh, okay. Vigilant Defend is 13. Keeps us alive, but we don't get anything else done. I can get Study going, though. So let's Vigilance Defend. We're going to Miracle and Study. Adding Insights and Smites to her. Well, these add to our hand. 
So if we get a good, well, that's 17 right there. I can't block through that unless I can kill them. That treasure though. I'm a rich man who's getting killed by a chest. Third time's the charm, right? Can't lose three times in a row. It's against logic. Very much unfallible to uh, have that happen to me. It is a great win Wednesday. There's Wednesday, Wednesday. So I can do whatever I need to to win. The, the city looks majestic. We're going in here. Random ego, be better. Twilight. Uh, 15 damage and apply weak equal to the energy paid for by manifest to all. I gotta remember manifest. You have in, when you have insufficient energy to play a card, you may instead exhaust cards for the missing energy or energy paid by. Okay. The energy paid for by manifest. So we can exhaust a bunch of cards to apply weakness to people pretty much is how I'm kind of understanding that. Uh, two elites, three elites. We're going for it again. No risk, no reward. And we're going to figure out how manifest works. If anything, that'll be our whole, our shtick. Uh, we'll take one. I'm okay with that. Okay. So, hypothetically, two defends. I play this. 15. I exhaust two cards and I apply two weak. Okay. So you still can play it. I actually really like that. And it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't get exhausted. You just risk running your deck too low. But you can get a bunch of nonsense. Like I can strike here, defend here, and then I can twilight two cards out of the deck. Yep, and then enter. And then, yeah, I don't want to do the enlightenment. Six here. Can't do anything about that. Just block. I think I actually could have drew some cards with his thingy magic. Twilight. They're just dead. Okay. I like that. I like manifest. Pretty good. Protect also is very good. I'm happy to take it early. Black Swan. Regret. 13 damage. 13 damage again. Or eat status and curse in your hands. Could be good. I'm not fighting the shopkeep today even though these are good. Time you lose more than one G on each turn, lose one less. Add infinite power. I like it. Uh, a certain turn, add a supply scroll to your hand. Pretty nice. Bookmark. Start of each combat, draw an extra card for each innate card in your deck. All those are pretty good. Um, guard, some reflection. That's for like the defensive build. Uh, I really like Carved Reality. I'm actually going to get it for the extra, kind of the extra early damage that I feel like I don't get. Ah, uh, we're going to trigger a trap. <gasps> 18 damage. Open the chest. Just gold and a card. I thought we would get a relic. Um, prostrate's fine. I think I have a problem with that. A little bit of extra block. Ooh, we've not seen this one. I don't think. Singing machine. Actually, I think we have. You hear something grinding in the distance, crunching and munching on something distinctively fleshy. You approach closer and find a bloody machine moving in rhythm to its own hideous beat. A person with a looser grip on their sandy might even think this sound was music. It was musical. The machine pauses and opens up, giving you the opportunity to throw something aside. Throw something in, offer a card. Oh, uh, we'll do prostrate. Uh, the machine turns off a happy little jingle then. Obtain prostrate plus. Get Ori Calcum. Yes. If it's at a bobble covered in blood, you pick it up while you do not recognize the trinket. You sense that it could be helpful down the road. I wonder if that would give you different relics based on how uh, good of a card you put in. Interesting. Uh, I like carved reality here. Uh, we're going to go for another one. And another one and then we're going to miracle uh and we're not playing a defend because it doesn't matter as or calcum it's more blocked i didn't forget it this time which is very rare for me right oh i'm a little short that's sad 
thought I had it too. What happens when you don't count? Okay. Uh, at the ready, here's the other mechanic that I was talking about. Guard. Since you gain double block from cards, but your attack damage is reduced by 90%. Hmm. The problem is there's not like a when you leave guard advantage. I just don't know what it'd be good for. I mean, it could be part of like a stance change deck. I don't think that's... I think I'm going to skip for now. I don't have like the setup where I'm that like interested in it yet. Uh, additional damage here. Sounds awesome. I'm enjoying the manifest ability so far. Another shop here. I actually have a little bit of money. Uh, our galaxy. Choose a card in your draw pod that costs extra lace and play a copy of it. Okay. It's just like a fetch. Kind of pretty much like a fetch card. I can fetch and play it for free. Well, pay it for it. its cost. A magic will draw three cards and give them retain. Also very good. Um, there's deck of holding is stored in here. I don't really want that. I could just do ancient T set card removal. You have enough for that, right? Yeah. I think I'm gonna do that for now, and then we'll remove a basic strike to keep our deck consistent. Card reality is just much better. Yeah, we'll continue the way we are going here. I also would like to upgrade this, I think. Nah, 10. Actually, you become one and you become 12 block. Having eruption as one is actually very important. It allows us to actually be able to play it. But sometimes we can't. Continual puzzle, we'll take it. I'm always like, oddly surprised how useful it is. Uh, not great. Um, but we will go for full, full blockus maximus. Do that. With no card draw, it does make it a little hard. Um, they have the first attack you play. Oh, they get the Laurel Reef ability. Um, Carve Reality here. Smite. And I can do Manifest for two. Get rid of the basic strikes, maybe. Actually, we'll get rid of the one of the basic strikes. Manifest, Twilight. Drop one of these. And then we'll take a little bit less. I guess the defense actually don't matter with our or Calcum unless I'm going to go for a full defensive push. Eruption here is actually not bad. I'll just get a little bit of extra damage in. Then we'll Vigilance back out. Okay. Alright, card rally. These ones are good. This is an attack, but it does not get the wreath, Laurel Wreath effect. So it just manifest. It just cuts through it. Right? Yeah. Kind of nice. Um, I think this is just game. Do this, do this, and then we... Twilight is actually not enough, unfortunately. Yeah, it still is also cut in half. That sucks. I should have played the defend. Whoopsie do. Uh, we still can play this, though. Yeah. Exhaust all of them. Might not be the best, but it's not the worst. Because we can hit in here. Get 12 damage. <gasps> Oh, we can, apparently can't. I mean, we got a little block, but I thought that would kill them. They are, have one now. She, she's a tricky one. Happy flower, very good. I'm happy with that, but still kind of sad. Um, I'm going to go with Empty Fist. Being able just to exit our stance, pretty good. I will also go with the rest here. We've been kind of playing a little fast and loose. We got a lot of elites coming up. And Latia is just one of the rougher ones. Okay. Um, we're gonna go with strike. We're gonna go with strike. Split that damage. Three still in the tank. So we can go. Uh, oh, this is to all enemy. Oh, and apply weakness to all. So we want to play another defend. Then we're going to defend again. Miracle. I did that wrong. Drink. Okay. I would have to discard the defend here. I did that completely wrong, but uh, it ends up being fine. Having some AOE here is would actually make this fight a lot easier. Um, and I have not done that quite correctly. Uh, protect is 12. Well, block a lot of this. Wouldn't get any damage in, really. I could eruption and kill both these two, actually. I'll take 8, I think. Because that is the... Oh, wait, actually. This... This empty fist take four. Oh, take none. Or I calcum for the 
absolute win. And then we can just beat on you. So, Vigilance here, Empty Fist, get the stuff back. Also, synergistically, you go Strike, Strike, Twilight, and you just win. I was going to exhaust the, the hearts, but uh, it works. For every four cards you add to your deck, you may remove a card from your deck. What? I've never seen Ice Cube try. That is sweet. Um, Judgment, yeah. We, we want to add cards and then get rid of the garbage. Like, this is awesome. Um, not a great opening turn, but we can go Vigilance. And I think that's actually all we're going to do. I could have Empty Fist to get the energy to play more cards. However, the downside being is I had nothing to, like, use the energy for. Um, I think actually Eruption Twilight should be killed. AoE is the best. Uh, Conclude is very nice. Wheelhouse is also very good. I think you go wheelhouse here. And another elite, which is these little robots, which I keep forgetting are elites. They are very deceptively uh, non-elite shaped. So if we're going to block, we need to block more than once. So let's miracle and we'll do a triple block here. Really lean into it. These things have a lot of, do a lot of damage right off the bat. So we need to like knock one of them down if we can. Always a big if. Um, I wish I would have had Vigilance here. That would have been really good with Empty Fist. Judgment can kill one of these. I just got to decide how... Do I, re I don't really want to take 20 though, is the problem. I can't get them down without that. Uh, set to zero. Yeah, I think I go Protect. I kind of can't get around it, I don't think. Um... Yeah, not having the Vigilance really kind of sucked it here. Alright. They're within judgmenting range. Maybe we'll focus on the other one now. Ow. Definitely want to play- Oh, Twilight's an AoE too. So actually, we'll Vigilance, Empty Fist. If I Protect, I can't play the AoE, which is 20. So actually, I just want to manifest the Defend away. And we'll keep the Protect for this turn. Okay, not too bad. 20 coming in. Uh, strike. Judgment. You have been judged. Back of Marvel is very good. Uh, <laughs> I like pressure points. I'm going to take it optimistically. Because also we get to remove a card in a, in a bit. Or the next card we take. Upgrade. I kind of like the upgrade on pressure points. Judgment though. It's pretty hot. Will kick is also pretty smexy. But I think I'm going to go Vigilance. I want to play it when I get it. Um, the extra block is awesome. So we have the singing machine, which will take our cards and munch on them. So I gotta keep that in mind. Opening hand is not the best. Manic employee. Do you take less damage? Uh, there are all enemies gain two temporary strength for each card in the singing machine. And you do nothing additional. So I kind of want to lay into the machine, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, why not? And we're keeping the Protect for next turn. Okay. And they did Grinding Gears. Cool. We got the Vigilance, got the Eruption. How do I go about this? I think I Vigilance first for 12. Eruption to immediately negate that. Go with the Strike. And then we're gonna go Miracle, Protect, and be a fully blocked. And in, and, uh, in Wrath still. Oh. Oh my good golly Galorian. Okay. We are in a pickle. Um, hmm. I have to wheel kick. I don't think I really get a choice in the matter. i remove a card from the same machine card. Oh my gosh. We are going to die here. Because I cannot get out of this. Throw this onto you. You are now weakened, my friend. Oh man, um, Twilight will apply more weakness. We're gonna eat up this. Um, I can't kill them either. I can exhaust a lot of things. Let's smite. Move one card. How many cards do you have? Uh, you have one strike, which I'm not like super thrilled about, but not also super worried. I think what I'm gonna do is do a defend here and then Twilight and exhaust three cards. Which I think will be U3. 
Yeah, yes. Which applies weakness to all of them. And I almost killed this machine. But I think, yeah. Unfortunately, we are just dead. Man, this was a rough set. But third time was not the charm. Watcher's just hard. I, I overcommit so much with the Watcher. Um, in terms of like how much damage we took. We even rested at the very end, which is mildly disappointing. Um, but this mod is still a lot of fun. Um, hopefully the setup, uh, we can talk maybe down in the comments. Let me know what you think if I should add um, those other two mods. I also was looking at, um, they're not in here, of course, um, the Abyss mod as an interesting one to maybe try on the back end. Um, we'll see if we get to that. Um, other things, like I said, RimWorld ideology is something I'm probably going to try. It might be the next uh, episode I put out instead of Slay the Spire. Depends on if I get it soon enough. Um, I have, you know, have to get into ideology, try it out, install it, all that stuff. And it might take more than a day or two. So we will see. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, if you did... Please hit that like button. Um, some people have, and it's been amazing. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. I do this every two days. Um, leave a comment with different ideas you want to see, different mods I want to play, um, suggestions, or just if you want to say hi. Um, I respond back to pretty much all of them, um, especially if you're asking questions, commenting ideas. Um, I want to thank you guys um, with just a little something. So, again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.